Clico, I know how to type in MS Word, but our teacher said that you should also learn how to edit in MS Word. Sure, Reni. Let me help you here. Editing means making changes to a document. To edit any text, first you should select the text. How should we select the text? You can select text partially or wholly. You can use the mouse as well as the keyboard to select the text. By using the mouse, you can select a word by just double clicking on it. To select a sentence, hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence. To select a paragraph, triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of the paragraph. To select text by using the keyboard, place the cursor before the first letter of the sentence or word. Hold down the shift key and press the right arrow key until the desired portion of the text is selected. By pressing the control button and A, you can select the entire text in the document. Now I hope you know how to select text. Yes, Clicko. Let us now learn how to cut, copy and paste text in a document. Why do we need to cut, copy or paste text in the document? Well, Renny, in MS Word, the same sentence or word can be used many times without typing it again and again. For this reason, the cut, copy and paste tools come handy. Now, look at the steps to copy and paste text. First, select the text to be copied. Then, click the Home tab. Next, click Copy from the clipboard group in the ribbon. Move the cursor to the place where the text is to be pasted. Paste from the clipboard group. The text will be pasted in the new location. What about the steps for cutting and pasting? I was just coming to that. This is how you can cut and paste text in MS Word. Select the text to be moved. Then click the Home tab. Click Cut from clipboard group. Move the cursor to the place where the text is to be pasted. Click Paste from the clipboard group. The required text will be pasted in the new location. Ready? Do you know how to undo or redo an action in MS Word? No, Clicko. Tell me how to do it. In MS Word, Undo is used to cancel a command given earlier. In order to undo, click the Undo button on the Quick Access toolbar. Redo command is used to reverse the action of Undo. In order to redo, click the Redo button on the Quick Access toolbar. The shortcut key for Undo is Ctrl plus Z and the shortcut key for Redo is Ctrl plus Y. Thanks, Clicko. Can we check the spelling in MS Word? You said that there is a built-in dictionary in MS Word. Yes, Renny. Word has a built-in dictionary and a set of grammatical rules to check the spelling and grammar of the text document. Misspelled words are displayed with a single red wavy line beneath them. Grammatical mistakes are highlighted with a green wavy line beneath the words. How can we correct misspelled words or grammatical mistakes in MS Word? To correct the spelling or grammatical errors, right-click on the word with a wavy red or green underline and then select the alternative word or the spelling you want. The function key F7 is used to check spelling and grammars. Spelling and grammar can also be checked all at once. To do this, you need to keep the automatic spelling and grammar check on. 
What are the steps for turning the automatic spelling and grammar check on? The steps for turning the automatic spelling and grammar check on are First, click on the review tab on the ribbon. Click the spelling and grammar from the proofing group. The spelling and grammar dialog box opens. The wrong words will be highlighted in red and a list of suggestions will appear. You can choose the required words from the list and click the change button to replace the existing text. Know how to insert a table in MS Word, Renny? Mm, no. Can you teach me? Sure. A table is made up of rows and columns. Tables are often used to organize and represent information. The intersection of rows and columns creates boxes called cells. Show me the steps to insert a table in MS Word. Here are the steps to insert a table in MS Word. First, click on the Insert tab. Click on the table from the Tables group. Select the number of columns and rows by dragging the mouse over the small boxes. A table is inserted with the specified number of columns and rows. The cursor is placed in the first cell. You can type text in the cell. Tap key or the arrow key are used to move the cursor from one cell to another. Now I am sure that you will remember how to edit in MS Words and also how to insert a table. Yes, Kiko. Thanks for your help.